So before we begin, Devold, I would like to ask you on from on behalf of all the Mumbai Indians fans, what is the correct way to pronounce your name? Because we want to make it make sure that we are calling you correctly. So to pronounce my name, I would pronounce it like Devold, but okay. Devold, yeah, Devold is perfect. Devold Brevis, okay, perfect. That's really a good one. Yes, but uh, you know, Devold, we actually love your nickname, Baby AB, and how does that make you feel? Yo, for me, growing up, um, idolizing AB, it's such a big honor to be um, compared to AB. So, yo, to be baby AB, it's so amazing and it's a big honor for me. But as I said in previous times, for me, it's also important to have that own identity of myself, to be known as BB or Devil Brevis. Yeah. But yo, wow, to be compared with AB is just insane. <laughs> So, but do you have a better nickname for you? Because trust me, the One Kadi Stadium is literally waiting to erupt as soon as you come out with your bat. Yeah, I'm. I'm so yeah. excited. Like it's a dream. I, I don't know. Uh, by, uh, like baby AB is something that has been here a while, so that's nice. And um, DB could also work. I'm not sure because it's that's yeah. my initials for oh, my yeah. name and surname, but. Yeah. Brevis, all of my friends at school, they always call me Brevis. Okay. Just on my surname. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's just leave it to the Paltan. The MI fans, they would find a cool name for you. And, you know, there's a thing with us Indian fans loving South African players. I think A.B. de Villiers, there's, there's so many players over there. QDK, obviously there's Marco Jensen, recent player. He, he's hardly played for one yeah. or at most two seasons, but then we love him so, so much. And we are so excited to have you as well. Uh, anyway, you had a splendid under-19 World Cup, and were you expecting an under? Uh, were you expecting an IPL contract this season itself? Sure, for me, like playing in the IPL and having a contract, it's such a big dream, and I really prayed for it. But um, I really didn't expect it. Um, it came. Yeah. It just came up. We were playing a game in the T20 competition there. In, South Africa, um, Titans against the Knights. And then in the middle almost of the game, like on the big screen, like the auction appeared and then it was me in the auction and it was oh. just like I was starstruck. I didn't know <laughs> what was happening. It was yeah. such a big honor and it took me a few days to realize yo, what happened. <laughs> but yo, I'm so excited for everything. Absolutely. No wonder. I mean, it, it's a big thing. So what was your initial reaction to it? Like the, the moment you realized that Mumbai Indians has actually purchased me. I'm going to be a part of their squad. Uh, how, how did you react to it? it? For me, I reacted. I didn't react like running around. It was almost like I was thinking the whole time of what just happened. And then yeah. I was sitting there in the cloaks. And then Quentin, the cocky, sat behind me. And then he called me to come and sit next to him. And then he told me, forget about the game, man. Just watch what's happening here. And you know, it was just, it was a dream come true. Yeah, absolutely. I, I actually had a question regarding QDK as well. Like the moment you got to know you're going to play for MI and especially in the Indian conditions. And now that it's going to be mainly in Maharashtra, the state of Maharashtra. And QDK, Sean Pollock and Marco Jensen have actually played quite a lot in these conditions. Did you have a word with them regarding any specific advice that they had to give? So not really too much. Um, I have spoken to people about the conditions. But I'm looking forward to learn from the players in Mumbai Indians team and the coaches. So I think that's also the also the right people to get yeah. your information from. But you know, it's going to be my first time playing in India. So I'm yeah. so excited and I can't yeah. wait. Quentin told me a bit about the conditions. I actually spoke yeah. to him about it. Yeah. He just said the Wankedi Stadium is insane to play on. <laughs> Trust me, it's going to be great to watch you. And after QDK, it's going to be you in the MI lineup. And it's I, I just can't wait to watch you come to bat. Trust me. And the kind of shots that you possess, it's really beautiful to see. And especially, I like how ABD is not playing IPL this season. It's the first season without ABD. And it's the first season with Baby AB. So it's like the perfect yep. transition is over here. So I, you told me about your reaction. What about your parents' reaction? How did they react to it? It was, it was yeah. a... Uh, insane moment at my home like so they were obviously so the TKO competition were in PE in South Africa and we live in Pretoria so they watched the 
auction live and my dad, my brother, my father, they all burst out in tears. Mm-hmm. What just happened? My brother also. So they really, it was something that they that they were so sad and yeah. not sad. I don't know how to say it. They were so excited, but in the excitement, they started crying and <laughs> it was wonderful for them because for them, it's also a dream. And we are, we as a family, we follow the IPL yeah. like from back in the day. So I can remember playing in the backyard, playing IPL games, yeah, and okay. everything. So no, for them, it was something very big. I can totally imagine that. And also, like, what was your perception of IPL? You just mentioned that you've watched IPL since a long time. What was your perception of Mumbai Indians? Sure. So the Mumbai Indians growing up Mumbai was also always the the main team if you could say that always you guys won the most um competi- most IPL trophies um best teams and everything so I watched actually before the World Cup we had isolation and then I watched on Netflix the Mumbai Indians yeah. um like show I don't know how to say it and yeah it's just I always picked up that there's like a family feeling and everyone is, it's like one big family. The players are great. And yeah, for me, Mumbai was always one of my favorite teams growing up. Yeah. Always. So, yeah, yeah. it's wonderful. I like how you mentioned you guys won. Uh, baby, baby, we have won. You're also part of one family right now. You're part of Mumbai Indians and we have won five titles and with the help of you, I'm very confident we're going to win a lot, lot more. Bringing, uh, like, bringing us to the next part of it, uh, is there any specific MI player that you're really excited to share the dressing room with? So I think about this one uh, a lot of times. So for me, there's so much players and everyone in the MI team is I wouldn't mind. I want to share the room with everyone. But if I had to pick one person, it would be Rohit Sharma. Okay. And what would be the reason behind it? I just think his his, his captaincy, the way he plays, his batting are just next level. Um, He's in Test cricket, ODI cricket, T20 cricket, scored three 200s in ODIs. And just smoking the ball always in T20. It's really like growing up, watching yeah. Rohit also going through the ranks. It's really someone that I would love to share the dressing room with. Interesting. Also, with the kind of solid batting lineup that Mumbai Indians actually possess, which role or which position do you see yourself batting at? Um, so, for me, it's important about the team. So... I wouldn't mind. I'm happy to play anyway, just to contribute for the team. Okay. Oh, so anyway, but if you if you have to choose a role, let's say like obviously MI will place you in the perfect position. But if you have to pick one position, is there any specific one? Yeah, you know, it's 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 hard for me as a batsman. I always bat at number three. I would say yeah. in T20s, and then also bowling, whenever the captain and the team needs me. So okay. you're yeah, just being in the game with anything. Okay, and if you have to script a match-winning partnership with alongside another MI batsman, who would it be? It's again a hard question because <laughs> there's so many talented players. But yeah. if I have to also pick one player, it would be Rohit Sharma. Okay, um, I think it would be amazing sharing the crease with him. Yeah. It, it would be really good to see you and Rohit Sharma. That, that would also mean very few wickets have fallen and we don't really need a big man Polar to come into bat. So you two winding up the match as, as at the earliest would be a great side as an MI fan as well. Uh, being a part of MI, which team would you love to play against? Uh, I wouldn't mind. I would love to play against any team. Um, I would, okay. I'm happy to play against any team, to be honest. <laughs> You're just happy to play cricket. That's the, I love your passion. It's not about which team I play against. I just want to play cricket and smack all the ballers all over. Breaking me to the next point, Shofra and Jaspreet Bumrah, these two are going to be net bowlers uh, for you. And that, that's a big relief, right? No, definitely. I think facing them in the nets, like you're facing the best bowlers. So yeah. you can't ask for better preparation. Um, yeah. 
I'm so excited about that. Um, like it's all these guys you've watched growing up. Yeah. Like watch them at Super Sport Park, even Umra running in bowling for South Africa, bowling to South Africa. So it's it's yeah. really insane to think about in a few months' time you're gonna face them in the nets and share the the cloaks and the field with them. So it's so excited. So who would be more scarier in the nets according to you? Would it be Jofra's bouncers or Bumrah's Yorkers? I think definitely um, Bumrah, to be honest. <laughs> He's, no, I would say Bumrah. Okay. And any, uh, any IPL star bowler that you're looking forward to face? Obviously not from MI. Um, I would say Rashid Khan. Um, he's known as one of the best leg spinners in the world. So yeah. I would say Rashid. Okay. And from like, uh, you know, I always take it as a pride that, you know, MI has a star studded coaching lineup as well. Like we can actually just make them play and make sure that we win the title. So which one player would you love to have from the coaching staff and play with you in, the, in, in their prime? Um, it would be Sachin Tenduka. Um, okay. Growing up, I idolized him. And as far as I can remember, like, he was always the way he played. Um, I always, it was always an inspiration for me. And a few years ago, I read his autobiography from 2014. And there's a lot of things in that book that I really take and try to put it in my game and my way of living. And one thing of him that I learned was to, you have to, if you want to be loved by a nation, you have to be humble, but pride will be your downfall. So to share the crease with Sashin would be insane. Like, wow. <laughs> so what's your, uh, like, yeah. what's, what's your favorite evenings or a memory of Sachin Tadulka? Um, It would be that when he scored the first um, 200. Oh, yeah. Um, in ODI cricket. Um, I think it was in 2010 against South Africa. Yeah. <laughs> so that's really, that's amazing. And I can remember that me and my brother, we watched that. So yeah, that's that's amazing. And that's the innings that I remember. Okay. You also mentioned about how you are a big, big fan of AB de Villiers. And we've actually seen a lot of pictures of you with ABD as well in the quite recent past. So has he given you any specific advice or something to play the IPL? Um, so we spoke about the IPL a bit, um, and he said he really wants also to share a bit of information to me, but at the moment, um, we haven't had the time because of the World Cup, and then I had one day back at home, and then I had to plan the T20 competition, but, um, I would really love to know a bit of his knowledge and everyone's knowledge about the IPL. Okay. And, you know, as Indian fans, we love ABD Villiers. I've mentioned it before as well, but I mention it every single time. I just want to know how is he in person? Like, how, how, does, how is the way he speaks or any specific amazing memory of yours with him? Yo, so for me, my first impressions with AB was at the school. So we shared, we went to the same school office and we also played on the, near Dion Buertas. Um, he coached me and AB. So, the first memory I, I will remember always, I couldn't get a word out. I was just sitting there and just listening to IB. I, there was so much things that I wanted to ask him about cricket, but nothing <laughs> came out of my mouth. I, I was starstruck. Yeah. But then I would say just he's always, he's a humble person. Um, he's great to learn from and just he's like a, he gives so much time and he spends time with you and make time for you. And that's something that I really appreciated. Yeah. He's A.V. de Villiers. And if you think about it, he could be a different guy because he's yeah. insane in cricket. But yeah. he's very humble and I really appreciate that a lot. I think that is very much common in these legendary cricketers. Sachin, there's Dhoni, there's A.B. de Villiers. Like, humility is something that has been the priority of these cricketers as well. So I think that's what really distinguishes them from the rest as well. Uh, also, you know, when you become a part of a successful franchise like MI, like with the five titles and everything, does it add a lot of pressure to you? Because obviously you're just 18. Or does it give you a confidence boost that, you know, a team like MI, a champion side like MI actually believes in me? 
No, I definitely agree. It gives you confidence and it gives me confidence because it's almost it almost motivates you that you are at the best franchise in the IPL and it motivates you to perform and to want to get another trophy for the team. So yeah, yeah it's definitely it gives you confidence. You know you have the, the best coaching staff, the best players. So it's really it gives you a lot of confidence going into the matches and into everything. Okay, and after the under-19 World Cup, like obviously we know that you've played a lot of cricket, uh, but is IPL going to be your biggest challenge yet? It will definitely be because the IPL is the the biggest T20 competition in the whole world. Um, there's so much talented and excellent players out there, so I think the competition is very, very high. So, no, definitely it would be the highest I've played so far. Yeah. And, you know, like, I just want to make sure that you let us know about your under-19 World Cup journey because 506 runs, the highest in a single tournament, and seven wickets with the ball. How did you prepare for it? Like, just, just run us through, through the entire process. Sure. So, we had a great preparation before the World Cup. Um, so, we played against senior provincial teams in South Africa. So, it was nice to play against men's cricket as under-19 boys. And it was always important to, to keep it simple. That was the thing that helped me out there at the World Cup is to know what I want to do. I know my game plan and to go and back it from the beginning. Yeah. So if the ball is full um, and it's your first ball you face, then you hit it over the top straight. You don't have to see a few balls first. You back yeah. your game plan and you keep it simple. Yeah. So that really helped. And the team we had, yeah. was brilliant and we everyone did so well with each other and it was really an honor playing with everyone and the preparation we had three tours and everything so it was great yeah and it was a delight to watch you bad i'm not even joking as an indian fan it was a little bit scary to you know have you in the opposition but it was the kind of shots that you possessed was really great and we want you to replicate those in the IPL as well when you play for Mumbai Indians also uh, like what started off your uh, what started off your cricket journey like at what age did you first play cricket you're 18 now so how young were you when you started playing it as far as I can remember I was born with a ball in my hand <laughs> uh, my first word was ball so it wasn't mom or dad it was ball so yeah, my memories where it all started was in the backyard. Um, me and my brother, Reynard, he played such a big role in my cricket journey through the years and he's still playing a um, very big role. So he always wanted to bowl and I always wanted to bat. So that was the perfect matchup. Um, we had lots of laughter and lots of tears because yeah. it got very competitive out there. But yeah, he supported me throughout the years and I supported him. So, and then as we grew up, we started playing in teams. And so my journey began to just evolve. And yeah, it's, it's a big honor to be in this position where I'm now. And how important is it to have such supportive family and a brother like you mentioned to, you know, to shape up a career of a person like you? I think it's very important because you always have someone to fall back to if you're in a difficult situation or something and just someone to listen to and also to just have, um, just to take all of the pressure, if there's pressure yeah. away and just to go back and just to play garden cricket or something, yeah. something that's just fun and yeah. to just enjoy it. And that's why family plays such a big role. You can always speak to them yeah. about things. Absolutely. Also, like, what's what's going to be your mentality heading into the IPL? It's hardly a month away. It's less than a month away. And, like, how are you preparing for it? So, um, I just got back yesterday from the T20 competition. Yeah. So, I took, yes, today is my off day. And I had to do all of the visas and everything. So, that was quite... <laughs> Yeah. a lot of things but everything is in good and yeah. so yeah i'm starting to get more again with training at the titans and then i think to just keep following the processes and everything that worked for me yeah. and just keep doing that and to do the extra 
Okay, okay. And also, I see a lot of posters behind you. Could you please walk us through? Like, what, what, what posters are those? So, I'll turn the camera a bit. Okay. So, there's one poster that's been wow. here for yeah. ages. So, it's <laughs> an uppercut of Sashin Tenduka. Right. The 2011 World got, Cup, right? Yeah, that's yeah. the 2011 World Cup. Yeah. So that's always a shot that I love that Sashin played. He even played it in Test cricket. So it's yeah. so brilliant to see. And then I've got Arbajan also there. Okay. I always loved him with his bowling. And there's a picture of me and IB when he wow. came to my house and we trained together. So that was a very special memory. Yeah. And then I've got a picture of me playing a cover drive. And okay. then also one of Virat Kohli that played the exact same cover drive so it yeah. was quite cool for me to just yeah. try to get those pictures yeah. next to each other because it looks quite the same yeah I, it, it's really great I mean I, I just saw so many pictures and you know it, it's really good to see you actually following an XMI play loving an XMI play Harbhajan Singh there's Sachin Tendulkar there's an Indian legend Virat Kohli that just shows how you know Protea cricket and Indian cricket have been always been you know loving one another for a long time. Heading into the IPL, uh, like lastly, like Paltan is really really excited to watch you play. Do you have any message for them? So I would say I'm really so excited to play in front of you guys, and I really don't want to let you guys down. I want to make you guys proud. Um, I can't wait to perform in front of you guys and to just to get to be a part of you. So, yeah, yeah that's my message. And what, what's your favorite stadium? I didn't really ask you that. I love asking this question to all the uh, players that I've been talking to. Which cricket stadium from India is something that you're really looking forward to play at? No, it's there's only one stadium for me. Okay. And it's definitely the one KD stadium. That's the correct answer. <laughs> it's, no, it's great always. <laughs> Okay. And what, what's the reason behind it? Is it because it's Sachin's home ground as well? I think it plays a role, but just okay. to always watching the IPL, there were always just a different vibe and buzz around that. The one yeah. KD Stadium, Gwenny told me the deck is flat to bat on and it's very nice. Yeah. So I'm so excited. Um, I just can't wait to get out there. <laughs> We can't wait to see you over there. Thanks a lot for talking to us. Uh, it's, it's really a great, it has been a delight to talk to you today. Can you please take us through the posters on the wall? I see a lot and we want to see them up close. No, for sure. So it all started from a very young age. Um, these posters are a few years old. Um, I can't remember exactly how old, but they've been on my wall for ages. So I've got Sashin Tenduka here. Um, playing the uppercut shot and then I've got Arbajan I also always watched him bowling with his bowling always yeah. loved that and then I've got a picture of me and A.B. when we trained together at my home so that's a very special memory for me and I keep it close to my heart and then I also have a cover drive that I played um, oh, when I played for my first team at the office and then I took a also a copy of Virat Kohli playing a cover drive and then I put it together to get that similarity and it was so cool to yeah. just see him playing that shot and then I just asked my parents, can I please make a photo copy also? But these pictures are, are here just because these are my heroes growing up. Um, I've always loved cricket from a young age and always loved these guys growing up so it's really amazing to be part and to be able to meet them at the IPL so I'm so excited.